Let us look at another example. The dataset wage 2 in the air package Woolrich contains information about monthly wages, the number of years of education and other background variables for 935 men. And a, a commonly studied question that's very tough to answer is how additional education affects a person's labor market outcome measured by its wages. Let's look at a simple linear regression first where we just request the monthly wages on the years of education. And the result is shown here on the right and we find a positive coefficient in front of education. So the interpretation would be one additional year of education increases our prediction of the average monthly wage by $60. Not so much, but it's also um, um, relatively old data we are looking at. Now, when beta 1 in this regression shall estimate the causal effect, it's very unlikely that this simple or less regression consistently estimates the causal effects. There are surely confounders um, that both affect the years of education and the wage. So one co possible confounder would be um, intelligence or ability in general. Yeah, Probably more intelligent people rather like going to school and going to university so they make a higher degrees, have more years of education. But intelligence may also directly affect the monthly wages of a person. So before we show the result of this regression, first answer question. Assume for the moment that only intelligence is the only unobserved confounder and um, that we also have some source of exogenous variation in education, even though it's not really clear what is the source of exogenous variation. Then how would you expect if we add the test result of the IQ test score, which is a proxy for the intelligence of a person, um, to a regression, how will the estimator of the coefficient of education change? 